find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. I'm hungry, strong, but I ain't starving yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail, dog, set. Never said I was a gangster or a thug, but I'm an animal. Pizza for the taste of the floor. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Ready to talk some indie wrestling with some uh, good friends here on the show. Uh, of course, our producer here in uh, in, in Pittsburgh uh, with Sorgatron Media for with our friends IWC, RWA, and the like. Also with me from San Antonio, Texas, it's Eamon Payton, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. Hello, Sorg. Very happy to join you once again this week. Always happy to talk about indie wrestling, and I'm very excited for the discussion we have this week. Yes, yes, and of course you can join the conversation. Subscribe over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Look for the Indie Mayhem Show on all your podcast outlets. Video uh, under Wrestling Mayhem Show is a section on our Facebook and our YouTube pages. And uh, drop us a line, of course. Talk about the uh, you know, let us know some indie wrestling that you guys want us to talk about or share with us in, in the world. Four one two two zero six WMS zero or Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com. This week, uh, not so much. You know what? We're it's an interview of wrestling fans. I guess it, it, it is the case here. Uh, we have some friends with us from the main wrestling mayhem show joining. Of course, Bobby F J Town over in Johnstown, PA, and of course, the Riz from here in the Greater Pittsburgh area. How you, how you doing, guys? Uh, we're challenging next month for the IWC Tag Team Championship. I'll have you there know. you go. There you go. Uh, no, we're not. definitely not. They say no interview this week. Uh, we had fraternity. Better watch out. Yeah, we had some scheduling conflicts, but we yeah. have some tremendous people in the works uh, that that will be coming up here in the next coming weeks. Um, but uh, but I wanted to talk to you because I was not able to attend Super Indie. I'll be editing it uh, here later in the week, hopefully, uh, and getting that up for all to see. But I'm watching the videos online. I'm seeing a lot of comments about the things that went down. I got to watch a little bit of one of the cameras when we were uh, uh, saving it up today. And uh, it looks like it was pretty damn tremendous. Uh, uh, guys, you know, uh, Riz, of course, you were a longtime IWC fan. Uh, mm-hmm. As far as Super Indies go, uh, well, what did we see? Who had impressed you? How was the show? Honestly, the, the Super Indies that I've been to, uh, every year they seem to, I, 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 I seem to get sucked back into indie wrestling from super indie. Like it, it's one of those times where you don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, like Bobby, like before the, before the show, Bobby was saying how he thinks he thought it was going to be, some of our the local talent because it's a title and it's going to be defended most of the time. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm thinking of the, the past winners of super indie. Now, obviously you're not going to get like, because uh, hentai and, and uh, John McChesney, two local guys uh, won it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like looking back, you had, Save Saban won it for the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, actually, was, Super Hentai or, won the first one. Well, let me run down real quick, just give oh, yeah. you an idea. Uh, it was the 15th edition of Super Indie. We've seen, of mm-hmm. course, Super Hentai win it a couple times. Cole Cabana, Chris Saban, uh, yeah. John McChesney, Delirious, Larry Sweeney, Jerry mm-hmm. Lynn. In 2008, Jerry Lynn won it, actually. Uh, Shima Zion, now DJ Z. Yeah. Uh, Facade, Sammy Callahan, RJ City, Dylan Bostic in, in the most recent years. And of course, this this year. Um, and, yeah. And uh, like for me, just to see some big name win it. Mm-hmm. Like, like, uh, like so, a Josh Alexander. And big name as in somebody making noise on the indies these days. Somebody is getting around. Mm-hmm. I believe he won the JT Lightning uh, uh, invitational just a few weeks ago up in the IW in Cleveland as well, right? He did. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they did mention that in the in the in, in ring like s- segment that they had with him, like when they announced like who he was and mm-hmm. why he's in this tournament, and all that stuff, which was a pretty good touch. What? Uh, but as a guy that I believe this is your first time seeing him wrestle in person, right? Right. What were your impressions? 
he is freaking massive. <laughs> like, he, like, he, was, like he doesn't he doesn't do flips. He doesn't do any of the you know. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do flips. Mm-hmm. He mentioned that he doesn't do flips. He yells that he doesn't do flips, uh, and he he powers through everything. And, <laughs> Oh, Bobby, Bobby, you're doing that digital thing again. So whatever fixed it before. So, uh, but go ahead, Riz. Uh, it, it, the finals were, I believe they were, uh, Gresham and, and, uh, and Alexander. Yeah. And Alexander. And Gresham, Gresham was a replacement of course, for Joey Janela that we talked about last mm -hmm. week that was in that incident with, uh, Zandig. Yes. By the way, sorry, we should have went to that. Um, so I, I think that was one of the better super indies I've seen just because I didn't know who was going to win just because the, that shock factor of Alexander moved on or, or Gresham who, like you said, filled in for somebody moved on. Mm-hmm. Like who would have known, who would have thought, you know, Janela was going to make it that far. Who would have thought like, or if he, if he was in it or who would have thought, you know, some of the local talent didn't make it to the final. Um, and it just seemed a lot more crisp, a lot, a, a lot more entertaining for, for a wrestling fan that's been in the IWC for quite some time with like myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, the, lo- the I, comments love, I love the humble brag. The comments I've been hearing about this are, are uh, best wrestling of uh, a, a, a super indie. Uh, you know, most yes. you know, most pure wrestling event that mm-hmm. IWC has put on in a long time, if not ever, uh, uh, yes. going around in, in, in the conversations I've had some yes. people in the last couple of days. So that that's I definitely mean, second in. Sugar Dunkerton, with a name like Sugar Dunkerton, you don't think he knows how to technical <laughs> wrestle? <laughs> that's right. He knows how to tech. He knows how to do those moves. We and, and we he, had a good conversation with him leading into last year's Super Indie, of course, about like, hey, I'm not mm-hmm. that comedy guy from Chikara anymore. I'm doing serious serious stuff, and people don't seem to notice that. Yeah. Right? People aren't looking out for that with him. Um, and I think after these two years here, I think he's definitely proven it. There's a, there's a fantastic video over on the Indie Wrestling US account on Twitter uh, that uh, some great kind of fun chain wrestling that they did. You know, that's, that's awesome. Bobby, are you back? Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Okay. Well, what I was trying to say uh, before, um, when when Alexander hit, uh, I think it was Desmond Xavier, at, right after he got done flipping, he was like, I don't need to flip. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's good. right. I mean, he's one of the – like, I saw him – first like when i was looking youtube videos for uh for ethan page because i know because i knew he was coming to iwc as well from last last year's super indie or was it two years ago probably two years ago Um, so i was watching his videos with when they were teaming together Mm -hmm. uh and I, i i'm looking at him and i'm like this guy has an amazing character he has an amazing move set he he has something that he can work with and i was like i'm surprised we haven't seen him in iwc yet and it took took quite a while for him to get back to uh, get to iwc and i'm glad i get to see i I, i'm glad i get to see more of him though because he is amazing in that ring well, at the beginning of the night, everybody was cha- – like the one guy stood up and like put his hand over his heart and no, went, we that guy's, the people. No, that guy is a jerk. Well, but at the end of the night, nobody was chanting that. Mm-hmm. Like the the crowd was behind him 100%. Right, and I think this is a guy that a lot of the crowd I, – I, I'm always – I'm not sure – I'm not sure who the IWC crowd is anymore. Um, because I mean, it is, I mean, you're, you're somebody that's gone uh, longer than me. I don't recognize a lot of the faces in there anymore. Right. No. So, and yeah. And, and when they announced, uh, Ray Rowe, yeah, I got really angry because those guys were asking who Ray Rowe was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's a long time thing. And that's why, 
you know, I, I worry when, you know, we it's see a long time thing. He's on television. He, they should know who the hell Ray that's Ray true is. too. That is also true. And it's kind of the, like, like, yeah, this is kind of the same. I can imagine it's the same crowd that would watch ring of honor. Right. Um, right. like it seems like the kind of product in the ring that, that, that seems to match that a little bit. Um, so just like the, I, I think Eamon with your Inspire crowd seems to be some like it should be a very Ring of Honor aware crowd, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I definitely. I, and that's the thing I like about something specifically like a Super Indie tournament where it's really kind of garnered to that kind of fan base that is following not even the Ring of Honors, but even the more extensive independent, you know, promotions. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, exactly. And it's just, um, um, and, and, and like I said, Super E is like a highlight, right? And it's really funny because somebody right. told me at some point, I, I think one of the long guys time work, long time guys working there, the whole Super Indie term was kind of a joke to begin with when they started the tournament. Um, and now it's kind of turned into its own thing and its own name and everything. So I think that's interesting too. So, yeah. Um, anything else that stuck out from the tournament? Any other uh, 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 shining stars there? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what else happened on that show. I mean, I mean, uh, Gresham also did a great job. I just yes, want to add. For, for a late, like a, and, and Gory with a late, like a mm-hmm. really, really late scratch. Oh, yeah, can we talk? I actually got to see Gory yeah. too. Oh, that's awesome. Well, okay. So I want to get to why Gory was there, but Bobby, as a first time viewer of, of, of Gory, uh, what, what did you think? I was impressed. He was really good. Um, him and Darren, uh, played off of well, off of each other. Um, like I, I, at one point I turned to Riz and I was like, he's kind of like scare M punk <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit. He reminds you of punk a little bit of how, how he like kind of moves kind and of. stuff a little yeah. bit, but scarier. <laughs> like that's kind of his gimmick, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I liked him a lot. Yeah. I'm trying to think of my I wish I could have seen more of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can always come to RWA, Bobby. I know. I'm always coming out of WA. Uh, but anyways. No, no. Every time I'm <laughs> on here, no, you Riz, have to bring up RWA. Riz isn't I allowed to go to sure. RWA because moms get hurt, okay? Uh, <laughs> but Bobby, you can come to RWA anytime you'd like to. So, uh, I'll try. There's another show July 30th, so 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 swing by for that. I'll be at a, I'll be at a reunion that weekend, though. <laughs> Seriously. Aw, oh, man. So I know. I'm going to miss the next month because I have a wedding right down the road from there. So, and that's another thing. Sorg abandoned me. I come to Pittsburgh. Yes, you abandoned, and abandoned I didn't me. Abandon you. I mean, Jeez. we had. I, I looked up and I saw Chachi there, and I got sad. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, at least at least Chachi waved at me when I looked at him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just you just. St- oh wait, you're not even you're not even up there anymore. Hmm? Shit. No, I'm you not. Even say that. Dude, what have I? Been? How how long has it been since you've been to a show? Yeah, um, he's always at the bottom. Yeah, you're always at the I'm bottom. I'm always downstairs too. behind the board. So, yeah, um, that's right. I don't know where I was going to go from there. I don't <laughs> but, know either. Yeah, I, 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 from the bottom, all, now he's here. <laughs> but all around, it's it's a it was a pretty solid show. Mm-hmm. I Great mean, show. yeah, this I, was I, this was my second Super Andy, and it was just like I, I enjoyed it. This was my fourth, hmm. probably my fourth or fifth Super Indie. I'm going to say first one was Delirious, second one was Sweeney. Was I there for, uh, no, I was there with, with Bobby. Yeah. Holy sh! I might have been there for six, now I think about it. Wow, I am... I go to a lot of these things. <laughs> They've been doing it for 15 years, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> but yes. each each time I go there, I am surprised to see like the stars that I haven't seen in, like in person before, like the Colt Cabanas, like the like the Sugar Dunkertons, like uh, like Josh Alexander. Pretty much, mm. I have so much fun just watching people that I've seen only on YouTube videos. Mm-hmm like live and that's nice and, that, that was always the attraction for the group when i first started mm-hmm. going all those days those those years ago was well, i guess youtube may have may have just been starting at the time but um like those are the people i heard of right you know whether they be a ring of honor because ring of honor was not accessible at the time it was this right. weird magical land that 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 lunchbox told me about 
and some guy named right. Samoa Joe, right? And CM Punk and all this other stuff. And I'm like, that seems like a funny world that you live in. Um, and here they are coming through Pittsburgh. And, and, and this year, it's it, uh, like when I looked on it on paper, I didn't think I was going to like it. Mm-hmm. I really, mm-hmm. really thought yeah, it, was it was a lackluster group of people. But then I started, you know, that then I watched it and they put on an amazing show. Well, and, and, it, it, and, and, and it, it goes and, to show you how much I pay attention. To and things. didn't we say, say last year they had more wrestlers in Super Indie last year? Well, yeah, mm-hmm. they had, this they year had, was only eight. Last year was what ten? Right. Right, super so, yeah, focused. they had a whole new format as well. Yeah. It's, right. Well, a, it was more of a return to format because they've done two day tournaments. They've done offset oh, no, brackets where, where it ends <laughs> like where it ends with uh three way dances, you know, and there's always that's where I've been. Uh, uh, that's what I remember. I mean, and, and even then you look at last year had if you want to call it star power of of uh, Ray Rowe and Cedric Alexander. Right of Ring of mm-hmm. Honor, and of course Cedric, we just were talking about on Wrestling Mayhem show is announced for the Cruiserweight Classic, and and can't get his his image cropped right on ROH's <laughs> roster page. He's uh, always, always peeping. He's always just peeping at you, man. Let's see what WWE does with that. Uh, but it's, <laughs> um, it, 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 they didn't stretch out to get big names, right? You know, although right. even and 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 I didn't, you know, you know you know guys like ray Rowe and stuff like we know of course in the area and there's a good point from uh uh, uh carlin's in the in the chat if you're an indie wrestling show but don't know who ray, ray Rowe is then you're not a res- indie wrestling fan you're just <laughs> exactly. there to cause yeah. trouble and i do want to talk about i think i think when we come back from the break i'm going to talk about i think we're going to have a conversation about fans based on some of the experience that we were sharing um, um off air here uh but uh i i i, I you know I like going in there. You had what about three guys that were IWC guys? Good to see Darren De Niro in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought he was going to win. I, that was my pick on Riz. I yeah, yeah. And, and like, I, like I said, did I say anything to you about no, that? Pick? No, because I, I kept it. I kept that whole thing about you know this is not a tournament where uh, very rarely do local talent. Does local talent actually win a super indie title in a tournament? Right, right. It's, um, it's usually based off mm-hmm. merit, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 I don't want to say that, but it's like the it it's the top star, I think, mm-hmm. of that of that moment. And because I remember. Uh, not, not always. Often. Not, not often. always. I mean, and it has because to be. I remember. I remember uh, Egotistico Fant- uh, Fantastico versus uh, El Generico. That's the one I went to. So I went to five. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, was, I went to, that because was, I remember that yeah. match yeah. clearly because I thought El Generico was going to win, and then I was excited for it, and then he lost, and then uh, Fantastico. Never really came back to IWC ever again. Um, yeah, there were issues apparently around that. Uh, yeah. So, eh, you know, and like no shows, something like that. So, I mean, and who knows? Like and who knows Dudley, what they would do with it? Then, Versus there were then there was like even I think a year before or after that, and it was Jerry Lynn, and we had a great few months of Jerry Lynn, and I think was it him and McChesney feuding, you know, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> it's uh. Uh, you know, it it, it, it it's him really... and uh, Sweeney for the first like couple. It might have been actually, yeah, I think it might have been. I think about it. So, so there you go. Um, but uh, go, go check um, it out. Uh, oh, yeah, what, what's up, Bobby? Um, going back what what you were saying before about how they brought in guys like the big names and stuff like that. Like last year, going into it, I was new to indie wrestling. I didn't know who uh, like Andrew Everett and Trevor Lee were. Right. And then after Super Indie. Like the, another podcast started talking about them, and then I, I got to know them more. And like now, I'm like big fans of those guys. They're it's a great. nice when when indie when super indie is done right. It's a booking of the people on the verge. Yeah, mm-hmm. we saw ACH like right before he popped up everywhere. Right, we, you know a lot of those kinds of guys. And and I mean, if you look through that list, you can still they still have the the, the kind of event page up over on IWCWrestling.com, and they always put up a list of hey, 
here's the participants year after year after year. And look at that list and look at the who's who that some of them have been to WWE and retired <laughs> and made an impact. Some of them are on top right now. Maybe they had a mask back then. Mm-hmm. You know, some of them are in different names. Oh, but if you look at that, it's it's the mo- one of the most impactful lists of uh, talent. So. All right, uh, but if you're interested in that, go check it out. We, uh, actually, all the Super Indies are over at IndieWrestling.us um, in some fashion, uh, ranging from about, I think, 3 bucks to and, and up uh, for the more recent ones. And, of course, Super Indie 15. Look for it uh, very soon over on there. For You can actually pre-order, pre-order the DVD now, and then very soon the digital download will be available as well. we'll uh, sign up for the, the newsletter there or over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and you'll get notified whenever that does go up. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. And like I said, I think I want to have a, a fans conversation with you guys. Um, maybe we can vent a little bit about things that we're seeing out there. And uh, more indie wrestling, of course, check out. It's up right now, IndieWrestling.us. Around the Indies by our buddy Matt Carlins is up. The multimedia presentation, including a few clips from Super Indie. I've shown off a little bit while we were talking about it. Uh, so check it out. Get Figure out who these guys are. We didn't have this wonderful thing called okay we have the internet but we don't have like all of these (laughs) hey here's a video that just happened tonight at this show in the middle of a field that involves a slow-mo drop kick into the corner you know of whatever's going on here into glass by the way there you go everybody figured out slow-mo on their on their uh that thing's on fire Oh, what are you doing now, Zandig? <laughs> Wait, what? Who are you hurting now, Zandig? Um, and oh, or I thought oh. something was really on fire there. Sir. Or or uh, Eamon's buddy John Johnny Mundo on a hoverboard. So all that kind of stuff. IndieWrestling.us, and we'll be back. This is Johnny Gargano, the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and the whole shebang. Not Johnny Bananas, by the way, even though I like to eat them. And you're watching the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Bobby has to ask me something. It's the Indie Mayhem Show. Bobby of J-Town, Riz, Eamon, to please, in San Francisco. Yes. What? Oh, what? what? San Antonio. What? The, I wow. didn't say. I said San Antonio. I, are we live? Are we, think, are we doing this now? Is this, what this, is this how you're starting the second half of the show? That's so? how we're doing it. It's how we're doing it. Indie, right. it's, a weird, right. it's a weird thing, guys. Welcome to being an interviewee on the on the Indie Mayhem thank, show. As I interviewed thank, I you about Super Indie, awesome, awesome. Uh, we were actually talking about it off air, and it was really funny because he, he, I actually got a message from this individual as you mentioned. Oh, <laughs> Bobby's like, I've never seen DJ Z wrestle before, and I'm like, yeah. well, that's weird. <laughs> so, uh, so, and again, he's a guy that's been around a long time. I'm sure Riz has seen him hundreds of times at this point. Uh, what'd you think, Bobby? Oh, I was awesome. I, the that whole match was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and he took on, of course, Dylan Bostic for the uh, the IWC title. So Ray Lynn, that she she's a trooper. I mean, <laughs> she is t- like, taking like a full drop kick and then a flip from the top rope, being chased around ringside by Jimmy DeMarco. Just amazing stuff. So they were having a twerking contest. Yeah, it, it was it was funny. That's great. That's great. She, yeah. She's awesome. I, and, and and again, you mentioned being a trooper. She was the one that uh, her hand was hurt, uh, was broken for for oh, a wow. while, too. And she just came back probably about a month ago, I think, wrestling. So um, and she was part of the Global Force show as well. Another match with uh, Britt Baker that we mentioned in the past episode. So um, and of course, Tragar has very kind words to say about her everywhere, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so, and of course, you, you guys got to meet Tragar as well. So, mm-hmm. yes, um, we but there, I mean, not every nice fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, go check his stuff. Breaking Trayfade dot uh, WordPress dot com. I think I remember it all. Um, but uh, the one thing you guys were telling me, of course, not everything was roses over there uh, at Super Indie. Um, of course, you know, it sounds like everything was great in the ring. I'll be, I'll be checking it out. Um, you know, of course later when, when I get to the, to the edit bay with this one. Uh, but, uh, there, the fans were kind of rough. It sounds like, and I know, I know a certain sections, certain sections, you know, and it happens. And, 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 you know, you see that at WWE, you see that at, at indie shows. And I, I, the difference. What's that? There is. 
because at WWE, you can, like, tone out, you can zone out that one section of fans. Because there's, like, 10,000 of you. Yes. But with the hundreds of, like, I believe there is probably maybe 100, 200 people there, you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About that, yeah. Maybe more of a hundred. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, but to to drown out that constant, constant heckling and booing mm-hmm. and one note and, booing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We know you don't like Andrew Palace. It's okay. We we don't need to know all the time. Like I, I don't know, and and this is this may be an answer for Eamon. I don't know if this is just a Pittsburgh thing. Oh, it's not. Like, like, do you, does Inspire have those fans? Um, uh, at, at at times, I I I still think we have a pretty good fan base at Inspire Pro Wrestling. But oh no no no, I'm not, I'm not saying all the fans here in IWC no. are bad. Like majority of the fans that were there were good fans, mm-hmm. but. The yeah. the one group of fans, I'm not sure who they are, so I'm not going to say any names. Wait, just wait, that wait do, you, do you even know their names, to be honest? No. no. I don't even care. Oh, no. One was fair. No, no, wait, no, wait. Time out. One was B-Rax. <laughs> oh, no. B-Rax. To, to B-Rax be, was a part of it. To be fair, though, we did laugh at them sometimes. In fairness. Some when, of their stuff was good. I, and and this is saying to someone who doesn't know anybody, but when you're when you're a fan and your name is known as B Rax, like that's kind of like a I don't know I don't like fans. Hey, of, hey Eamon, I want you to go to SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, oh, okay, this guy. No, oh, yeah, oh, that guy. Oh, 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 you don't uh, know about B Rax? B Rax has been you? spoken of before on this show by several <laughs> Pittsburgh friends of the I think show. It might have been me. <laughs> Trevor, oh, Trevor and, and probably yeah. some of the some of some of the uh, STDs that they freaking love B Rax. I've been told that Trevor Lee and uh, Andrew Everett listened to his mixtape on the way back to where they were going. No, <laughs> yes, they did. No, this happens. No, no, seriously, this happens. I, I yeah, fully but, believe this is what happens. Oh, and, uh, and a little side note: I'm still waiting on my uh, invitation to B Rax's graduation party. What he was handing. He was handing out invitations to his uh, to his graduation party to all the fine ladies that were there last uh, <laughs> last Saturday night, and I overheard somebody say that B Rax is going to do a rap battle with who? I don't know. I have candidates. I have candidates. We can throw at them. But no, um, Jimmy DeMarco. <laughs> Uh, to your point, though, Riz, like I'll I'll give you an example, like because in say in Inspire, for example, like for example the booing thing, like th- there is like one of our wrestlers, Jojo Bravo, who as of late can't get a promo out because the entirety of the crowd will boo him, but that's because he's a heel, and th- it, it's it's done in a way where it works. But, like it's uh, not it's not one note, and it's not boo but I, the entire uh, night. <laughs> But I've also been to shows where, and and I, I think this ended like probably like maybe a couple of years ago. But you used, you used, it used to be at uh, certain uh, indie wrestling shows that ACH was booked on. Uh, there would be like a crowd of like a group of maybe like three or four people that would heckle him to no fucking end for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and I remember they like brought signs to like one of the first Ring of Honor shows in San Antonio that was like being negative towards him when it was like the like his family's in the crowd because he's from lo- he's from locally here so it's like really like weird and stupid. Um, and then like I was at a show that it was not the best wrestling show. I had maybe like fifteen people in it in like a VFW hall, but they were there. What was it called? VFW. No, it was not. <laughs> oh. Damn it. You'll find that group I'm surprised, eventually, Bobby. I'm surprised it's okay. nobody's ever done that. I want that to happen. <laughs> no, nobody nobody has ever worked that on the nose. Uh, Bobby, I'm sure if you want to do a show in like Ohio or Virginia, you could pull it off pretty easily. Violence Absolutely. Federation put, Wrestling. Yeah, I want to put together a VFW, VFW wrestling show. Yeah. But no. Make uh, it happen. That's my goal this year. 
as opposed to in a crowd of like a couple hundred, they were in a crowd of 15 and it made th- things every much more annoying because it was something that was, mm. you were unable to not pay attention to. Like, and it was very, very frustrating. And it was just because oh, like guys. You like, mean like Vuvuzela noises? No, yeah, no, we got it. But it was just them yelling stupid By shit. By the way, there, there was a, there's one a. Of their, one of their big things was like, like, and, and it's a stigma with the wrestlers is like they think that he doesn't sell or whatever, or he's just like a spotty guy. So they would yell shit about him like not selling and stuff like that. And I'm like, you're ruining the, you're ruining this experience for so many people right now. Like, you're being such a hindrance. Um, but yeah, it's, and and that. That doesn't happen to really inspire. Uh, it's just stuff I've seen. But to go to your point, yeah, it does happen everywhere because there are really crappy people out there. They're wrestling fans sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it happens, <laughs> and it's not all bad. I mean, it's not all bad. I mean, no, I no. mean, I, 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 I think something like like I think when you go to indie wrestling, it's not just you know the wrestlers in the ring that are entertaining. It is the fans, right? It is having fun. It is that time that we threw spare change at Dennis Gregory because we were ch- chanting bum at him for the longest <laughs> time. Um, we didn't throw it at him. I want to make clear. We threw it at the ground in front of his feet. Yes. And, and he, he picked some of it up. And, and I think he picked some of it up and pocketed it. Um, but that's, had, something, that's something I would lean towards as you guys going along with the show, going along with the ride, so to speak. You yeah, made yeah, up yeah, the yeah. bum thing. As yeah. your own thing, and he was responding it's... to it, and it was interesting. Um, versus, and then there was also our, our good friend uh, that actually uh, tweeted at me when he found out I wasn't at Super Indie. Um, um, uh, Spiker, Spiker, yeah, it was a yeah. long time I didn't see him, but he's out in Harrisburg. He used to drive in from Harrisburg to Pittsburgh to, to see these shows, wow. and of course, yeah, Bobby. That's further than me. <laughs> yeah, uh, monthly, by the way. And this is before oh, yeah. this is before gas prices bumped up. That's what really killed a lot of this. I feel like. Uh, uh, and the about, man, and the man bought, and I, I think I know you were going to say go this. Ahead. The man bought every month one dry erase board. Mm-hmm. Every month, because and every month, yes, it gets used by beating somebody over the head with it. Throwing it up into the air into like the to the fans that was up top, and it, it was it, like he made that part of IWC lore. Mm-hmm. He would write something on it. Usually, John McChesney would break it over his knee or something, or hit somebody with it, depending on the kind of match that was going on. Like that was that was that fun <laughs> thing, you know. Um, so, you know, that, 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 that's 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 kind of something cool. Um, you know, much like I talk about RWA, right? That that fan base is just incredible. And I've, I've had so many conversations with people about that, uh, uh, you know, in the last few months. Um, because you know, the most over thing there, no, no, like disrespect to the, the, the <laughs> talent that's there, that's, that's awesome. But the fans are the show at that point because they, they the fans make the show. You know, if you got yeah. great stuff happening in the ring and nobody's responding to it, it feels a little weird. We've watched yeah. we've watched New I Japan. Think, it feels a little bit weird yeah. sometimes, you know. Um, even more so. When, I think go ahead. with the with, with RWA, the, the one time I went down there, uh, the the lady that I was working with, uh, uh, I think it was Chris. I think it was Chris. One time I was working there, um, mm-hmm. we were we were playing a game called "How many Confederate flag hats can you see." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The uh, the flag is strong in that town. Um, certainly. Well, hey, some of them, uh, some 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 of it was by by wrestlers named Smothers as well. So, so oh, yeah. there's that too. But uh, we, another, we weren't we weren't downtown Pittsburgh. Sort no, no, it absolutely was... not. Uh, An- another side note about the crowd. Um, the last match of the night, this the uh, final for Super Indy. The crowd was like really quiet, but I think it was a mixture of everybody wanting to watch the match and take it in and how hot it was there. Mm. And I even asked Plumber about it. He's like, ah, there was a problem with the air conditioner. We yeah. tried what we could, you know. I was getting re- I, I, I was getting reports while I was doing what I was doing up in New York and they're like, uh, the AC isn't working. The crowd isn't even yeah. here yet. It, 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 it was really hot. It's... And the fans were just kind of like blowing it at the hot air around. Mm-hmm. But uh, like 
I looked at Riz one point. I'm like, we're a really respectful Japanese crowd. <laughs> we were, we were, we were. It was like everybody was watching it, and you could actually hear the commentary going on with <laughs> up at the top. Yeah, because we put them oh, up on the then, balcony, and didn't then we? we we, and then that's when the annoying guys started commentating over the con- commentary. Yeah, guys. that was kind of dumb. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think I always have a problem with one of those groups being close to where I used to put the mic. And they'd be commenting ter- during the uh, the background, the the backstage stuff that we used to do there. So yeah, it happens. I mean, what are we gonna do, right? Um, I mean, I was just editing. I actually had uh, uh, an old show, big show that used to happen in, in Cleveland, um, and somebody apparently found the the crowd mic and started yelling some um, fairly obscene things that we hmm. can't really. Oh, Sorg, you need to watch. There. Uh, there's a YouTube video out. This was maybe, I want to say 2006, 2007-ish, when PWG just got its start, like, you know, when it started to get big, mm-hmm. uh, there was this one annoying fan. <laughs> super Dragon guy? Oh, no, it's not the Super Dragon oh, okay, fan. okay. It's just this one guy who hated, like, everybody in that ring. <laughs> like... And he, he he will always was right near the microphone oh. or made it really known that that wrestler was his least favorite. And it, it always seemed to be Joey Ryan for some reason. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's always Joey Ryan. But, but yeah, I'll, I'll find that video for you, Sork. Um, Eamon, do you have any 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 fans that kind of stick out for uh, for Inspire that, that, that are on this level? You have to have some pretty interesting regulars at this point in that group. Um, yeah, uh, I, I really like the crowd that we've kind of fostered. Uh, I, I, I love personally the fact, because we're, like you mentioned, so we're kind of very much an indie kind of like, like we celebrate like kind of what people love about indie wrestling sort of on our shows. Um, I'm also very happy the fact that we also so major majority of the time have a lot of kids in our crowd as well. Cool. Uh, and sometimes they're almost like the best ones to kind of like listen to and kind of like hear their reactions to stuff. Um, usually there'll be a group of, there'll be this family. They'll be like sitting right in front of where my commentary table is. Uh, and their kids are very vocal. <laughs> in the best way possible. Um, uh, just yelling stuff about wanting to see the, like seeing the bad guys get, you know, hurt and stuff like that. It's kind of like really mm-hmm. funny, but uh, and, and you, I don't know, that just kind of sticks out to me. I, I'm glad we don't have like, I, I can't think of a, of a real like specific, like these kind of people like really kind of like are the kind mm-hmm. of people that you were talking about that kind of, do those kind of things at wrestling shows. And you do, um, you have a fairly family friendly show too. And I know IWC tries for that. For the most part. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I've had, I've had friends that have kids and, and kids that have not experienced a lot of live wrestling. Um, and they've asked like, is this show good for my kid? And knowing, you know, knowing the kid, I'm like, yeah, don't take him to that show. <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, and, 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 and don't, don't take them to the show where they were throwing dildos at Jimmy DeMarco. Please. Well, there, yeah, there's that. And they've, they've cracked down on that. Of course, they got a little out of hand. But but I, that's, again, uh, even last promoter after that incident, like they're like, yeah, we can't push that anymore. And now and that was that was us, a group of fans, too. Right. The, and, you know, and it's the fans you attract. And what do you do to, to, to get to that point? Um I, I will say the the closest thing I could think to that, and, and that's also why I'm lucky that I, we're, we're lucky in the fact that we we do those kind of co-branded shows that we do with Chikara every year because those are some of the funnest ones to like get kids, oh, you yeah. know, into wrestling. Um, uh, there have been times before where a, a, a wrestler uh, got too uh, 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 passionate in his promo. Uh, which happens at times. It's not, you know, it was just kind of in the moment thing and said that he was going to take a knife and put it through his opponent's effing chest, um, <laughs> to, which that happens. <laughs> and on the tape, you can like, there's a woman like with her like daughter or whatever, it, like sort of near the front row that was enjoying the show for the whole time. And the best part is at that line, she starts cheering the mother <laughs> and starts cheering. <laughs> And the and their response is like this show is amazing. We're gonna keep coming back. So. Right, right. I mean, there's, I mean, like Riz, you've seen, you've seen RWA, and 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 like, if you're worried about your impressionable child, you don't go to RWA. 
No. There's a lot of people with kids there that don't are not concerned about their impressionable children. I'm not well, going to make those it... kids. Most of those kids aren't even paying attention. To There's the that show. too. There's that too. And I'm not going to make a comment about parenting here, but but I'm just saying, like, it, but because it is a concern. You, you have like for RWA, you have the ring. You have no bar- barriers <laughs> yeah, beyond no, that ring. It's, it's the wild and then you west. Have it it in is. The, in the left hand corner, you have the concession stand, and then you have everybody just running around. You're gonna have nothing to pay attention to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting uh, as far as as far as those go. But again, I love it. I love the atmosphere at any of those things. Um, so, all right. Uh, from that, again, like I said, check out check out uh, uh Matt Carlin's uh around the Indies. There's a lot of stuff that happened this weekend. He's got some records about what happened at Evolve, including uh, that match we saw set up a little bit ago that ran down a lot of interesting stuff with WWE. Uh, Drew Galloway okay. and Ethan Carter against uh, Johnny Gargano and uh, TJP? TJ Perkins. Yeah. TJ Perkins. Perkins. Who's was, in the Cruiserweight thing. Who was in the Cruiserweight thing as well. Hey, hmm. hey before we can go, uh, did you guys see the new, crazy, uh, insane video Osprey just posted? No. No. Is it him doing a Vader ball? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, um, just him now just doing the Vader bomb is uh-huh. amazing. Uh I do have to point this out. Uh there is a video from Death to All Marks who I, I we we get a lot of stuff from uh this guy over on 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 the Around the Indies column I've noticed. Uh but he uh, uh, he shares this uh apparently Sandow is back to doing the stunt double gimmick. Along with <laughs> Colt Cabana. Nice. No. Yes. Oh, man. I need to see this. This is amazing. Wait, is he Colt Cabana? Well, he's Bandow? dressed. He's, I guess so. He He's dressed in the robe, Damien Sandow style, but he's got the glasses on and he's just interacting in the ring with him. And he's taking the hits and, and everything like that. Uh, there, this appears to be some sort of uh, three-way or six-man tag, I think. Uh, so go check that out. The video is over there at Around the is Indies. Is this the one with Black Wall Street? I have what? Yeah, he was doing like a. Uh, I, it was on another wrestling group. There was like a, a a promotional picture. It was come see Damian Sandow. It was Damian Sandow front and center, and it was like in the background. It was like these three or four guys they just named black wall street i don't know who each one of them were but there was another guy on there bobby you know who i'm talking about right wait who's that the 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 promotional poster mcw yes yeah, yeah. i've been to one of the shows before oh, wait 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 not no not the mc not the not the uh little people wrestling no Mar- no maryland championship no, no, yeah maryland championship Is that wrestling the one? That's yeah. the one with. Uh, yeah, I've I've been to one of those shows before. That's the one with Black Wall Street. Yep. Yeah, I've seen who Black was, Wall Street. Who was the special guest? It, it was Damian Sandow, and then like uh, in the top right corner, there was like a circle, and it was like a picture of somebody I don't even recognize. I can't remember. Was it, it was like some, It was some weird name. It wasn't Marty Janetti, was it? No, it wasn't Marty Janetti. It was. It was. I forget who it was. I'm gonna. Like think about it all night when I get out. But yeah, they, it, they it have a wrestler weird. that wears a power glove, which is awesome. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And Jimmy the hippie. <laughs> all right, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you, everybody. I I know you know we usually have the interview, but uh, it was fun to just kind of chat indie wrestling with our buddies here. I got to go check out IWC. Uh, so please go check out um, the Riz at the E Riz on the Twitters, and of course look up Riz plays games on the YouTube channel. Also on the uh, Twitters, I I kind of marked out a lot this weekend or th- this week on Riz plays games. E three was this week, and mm-hmm. I got very excited about a few things. Nice. And we're gonna find our Batman. Uh, we're going to talk about those things tomorrow night on Boss Battle. Mm-hmm. VR Batman Sorg. At Bobby FJ Town on the Twitter. I will talk to you about that tomorrow night, Riz. Mm-hmm. And of course, Eamon, too, please, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. Check out Inspire Pro Wrestling on Smart Mark Video. And of course, at Eamon, too, please, on the Twitter. Yes, indeed. Go check us out 
Uh, we hopefully have some uh, news about our upcoming event very soon. Uh, nice. Uh, we just released news today of our brand new uh, home for Inspired Pro Wrestling, our new venue. Uh, if you want more information on that, visit us on all of our social medias, uh, uh, Facebook Inspired Pro Wrestling, Twitter at Inspired Pro Res, uh, and go check us out through there. Awesome. Skinny, oh, happy slam reversary. <laughs> Yeah, that's your show. <laughs> and of course, at Sorgatron. No, congrats on that new building. At Sorgatron, Thank check you. out everything WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0. I'm at Sorgatron. And please be out there and supporting Andy Wrestling. Six, six, six. You know how I act now. If you got a problem, come and see if I'm a down. Act wild. Steady sipping Show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.